Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my desktop. Welcome to DaVinci Resolve 17. And, you know, I was doing some editing and I wanted to learn how to zoom using like a keyframe and such. And there's always a million videos about how to do a bunch of complicated stuff, but not too much to walk us old folks through the very basics. And that's just what I needed. And so I've been noodling around and trying to figure this out. And I thought, well, I think I'll do a video on it. So here we are. I'm doing a video where I'm editing me talking about a razor. And there's the razor. And I thought, you know, I could zoom in on that shot, say maybe I can zoom out. So how to do that. And the cool thing is it's very easy in Resolve, in DaVinci, whatever you like to call it. This happens to be extremely easy. Now, and it uses keyframes, so basically, you need to pick a starting point where you want your zoom to begin and an ending point where you want it to end up at. In other words, you have to decide, do you want a fast zoom? Like, do I want to zoom into the razor quickly or over time? And I can show you both. Now what you do is you click this little marker and that tells you that's the starting point. And then you go to the end point. And it's probably best if I just show you. So let's say, okay, I'm talking. I raise up the razor. People can see it. Okay, so let's say I wanted to zoom in fairly quickly. So... I know what's coming up, so I'm going to start it here. Now to start it, you hit the little diamond here. And you see this kind of change colors. But you don't exactly see where you're starting, right? And, and I'll show you how to fix it. And this is where we want to end up. We want our zoom at the maximum point right here. So not a slow, leisurely zoom, but just get right to it. So let's say like that. Now you don't have to, see it goes red, you don't have to make a second diamond because Da Vinci does that for you. But the thing is, you now let's see what it looks like. Here I am unzoomed, you can see I'm at one. So there I zoomed in. You can see I went to 1.5. Now, if you wanted to move that or change anything, you don't have a clue because you can't see it. And that was the thing that was frustrating to me. And there are videos showing a million different things of what you can do, crop, left, right, and everything. But I just wanted to see where I had zoomed. So the answer is pretty simple. You come over here to the diamond, and that gives you the, the viewer, right? So that you'll, you can watch now. You will see start point, zoom in, end point. Just that quick. Now, let's say for sake of argument, we wanted to move one of these. Well, now you really, it's nice because you can. See, we wanted it to zoom quicker. Well bring that in Zip. and brings it right in right here's probably pretty good I'm going to start zooming back out okay and this is where I want to zoom out at by right here I'll just go back to uh, one even Okay, so now let's see. Zip. Zip. <laughs> but the cool thing is, 
you can see it's fully adjustable here and uh, before you couldn't see that it looked like that so that's the power of this little triangle thing here and like say you can fully manipulate those to adjust however you want and um you know it can go on and on a bunch a bunch of different uh, features you can do all these things with the same thing and um, but this is really a lifesaver now you see how it goes red if you want to uh, say do away with any of them you can highlight it and just hit delete and it'll, it'll go right away so then you're back to zoomed in then if you say you wanted it to be zoomed out here now when we get that gorgeous mug we're gonna zoom it out a little see right there now watch zoop now a more gradual zoom out see as you can see it's all represented here anyway i didn't want this to get too long i just wanted to make it quick and simple and I hope it's helpful. Until next time, we'll see us.